another uh, welcome to another episode by the commercial real estate contrarian. What I wanted to do today is go over some of the professional groups in commercial real estate. I want to talk about some of the designations that you can get from each of them as well, and why the vast majority of them are useless. They are a money grab. And whether or not you buy into them is up to you, but I'm going to go through uh, several of these and um, obviously the organizations, um, you know, are not going to like this, but I'm going to tell the truth. And, uh, and if somebody wants to tell me differently, I would welcome the feedback. So without further ado, uh, let's, uh, let's get into this. Okay. So I've got uh, got some of these websites up, and I just want to kind of go through them with you. This is ULI. It stands for Urban Land Institute. ULI is an international group. Um, this is this is probably my favorite group um, uh, nationally. I participate in a couple of different locals. I help them out um, through what's called their Leadership Institute. Uh, it's a it's a networking group first and foremost. And so when you go to events, you're going to find some of the top developers. You're going to find some of the top brokers, although not as much as NAOP. It's mainly for developers and then also people who support developers. So you have infrastructure folks, you have uh, water and sewer, you have civil engineers, things like that. They have national meetings, they have regional meetings. All in all, I would say that ULI is a very, very good group. They, they put out some research pieces. I think that the research pieces are okay. They're typically written by, uh, by some of their members, and, and, and I've seen some that are good. I've seen some that are just okay. Uh, they're emerging trends in real estate uh, and development. They put this out each year. Uh, I believe it's free. You don't have to be a member to, uh, uh, to read it. Uh, download it. It's, it's, a, it's a big report. And I find it to be okay. I find it to be okay. The uh, the other thing I like too about ULI is there's no there's no designation. Yeah, of course you have to pay to be a member and and, and things like that. But there's no there's no designation um, behind ULI. So I, I kind of like that. Then there's NAP. NAP is very very similar. International organization. Um, they're up in Canada, I think. I don't know if they're in, in other parts of the world or not. But but NAOP is is developers, and then it's also uh, a lot of brokers. And so uh, when you go to, it's been my experience that when you go to events, it, it's kind of half developers and owners, and and you know maybe twenty five percent brokers and then twenty five percent service people. So it's a good group. NAOP try to put out um, uh, some courses, and they're a little late to the game. I think that that you can get you know certified, or you, you can you can have take courses and get uh, get certificates and things like that. Yeah, here's our certificate program. I took a few of these uh, during COVID. They actually opened it up, and they were all free uh, to everybody. And I took a few of them. I found them to be so basic that it 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 just it just wasn't worth it. You know, it was just like if, if you don't know this, uh, you probably shouldn't be in commercial real estate to begin with. Uh, that was kind of my take. The next one that I want to talk about is CCIM. CCIM. Uh, CCIM, they call themselves, uh, was it the, 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 the doctorate of commercial real estate degrees. That is a bunch of horseshit. CCIM is, is four courses plus a, um, a final course uh, review and then, and then a final test. These are open book tests. It, you, you spend, if you do the in-person, it's like a week-long um, uh, course where they teach you a lot of math. The, they don't really teach you a lot about real estate though. That's the issue. My main issue with the CCIM Institute is that they teach you math, but they don't teach you real estate. And what I mean by that is this. They teach you internal rate of return and net present value. Those are critical components of commercial real estate. Great. 
what they don't teach you at all is how to get to the inputs for your internal rate of return and net present value. So they teach you how to set up a, I think they call it a T table and, 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 and your, um, your zero and your one. And they, and they say you, you buy a property for $10 million in year zero. And then in year one, you make a hundred thousand and then 150. They don't tell you how they got to those numbers. And here's what happens. Students take all these courses. They have their, their CCIM degree and then they go out in the real world. And they have no clue how to actually use that information. They don't know where to go to get to the numbers for their, their T-bars or whatever they're called at CCAM. So it becomes, it, it, it kind of becomes a waste of money, in my opinion. I went through the CCIM program probably 20 years ago. And I got my CCIM and I tried to tell them, like, like, this is kind of worthless after I graduated. I had no idea what to do. And of course, they just it, it just fell on deaf ears. I think that it's more of a money grab. Now, look, if you're in a very tertiary market, okay, and you want to get your CCIM designation so that you stand out uh, uh, from the other residential realtors in your area that you're competing against, okay, fine, I understand. Your clients, though, your clients don't understand what CCIM is. They don't care. You have to explain it to them and be like, hey, I took four courses that were all open book, and uh, I promise I know what I'm talking about when it comes to commercial real estate. It still doesn't mean that I'm going to be able to sell your building any better. There are CCIMs that I know that are that are complete idiots. So it, it, it just it, it doesn't do anything um, to... to uh, educate you outside of teaching you math. I, I feel like you could, you could be in computer science. You, you could be a computer scientist or a computer programmer. You could go in, take their four courses. Again, they're open book. You you can't fail. They. I don't think anyone has ever failed a CCIM course. You can get your CCIM, and now you're a CCIM even though you're a, a computer guy. So I, I just, I just don't like it. And I apologize to the CCIM Institute. I'm sure that you're pissed off if, if you're hearing this, um, but you just you, you barely scratch the surface of of what happens in the real world, and I just don't think that it's worth it. Next group, sorry, um, sorry to be such a Debbie Downer, but here's a group uh, called SIOR, Society of Industrial and Office Realtors. Uh, national uh, group, what I and, and this is a designation that you get. Here's what I like about SIOR you can't just go out and join and be an SIOR, there are no tests to become an SIOR uh, uh, design, designee. What, what their uh, platform is, is that you have to do deals in order to be an SIOR. And it's tough. It, uh, it, it is a tough crowd to get in. Uh, in I think in my market, uh, over the over the I, I forget. It's been so long since I've I've been a designee, but um, uh, I think that it's like you had to bring in like five hundred thousand dollars in gross commissions in in two of the last three years or four years uh, that that you were a realtor. So. You know, that's you're making over two hundred fifty thousand dollars a year just to uh, just to join this group. So um, I do like the SIORs if you are looking for a realtor and you you see the SIOR designation. I do feel like these guys are and girls are are good. Uh, don't get me wrong. There's an SIOR in, in my market that is a complete and utter idiot. I have no idea how he got in. Uh, he, he can't even spell IRR, I don't think. So uh, you still have to do your homework, but uh, I think that this is a good group and a good start. Uh, switching up a little bit over to the management side, there's two main groups that I know of uh, nationally that handle management. And property managers. This is BOMA and, and IRAM. So I think that these are very, very, very similar groups. I, I, I don't, 
I, I can't really tell the difference between the two. I mean, there's a few differences, but what, what you need to do is figure out which one is more active in your market and, and attend those events. Uh, it's mainly made up of, of property managers. Uh, I would say half property managers and then half vendors. So there's like HVAC guys and, and landscape crews and plumbers and things like that. And uh, there are, so each of them have uh, designations. So BOMA is the CPM, Certified Property Manager. I don't know if they have it on their uh, main website here, but CPM. And then IRAM is RPA, uh, I think, uh, or no, excuse me, I had that backwards, sorry. IRAM is the CPM, Certified Property Manager, and then BOMA is the RPA. So uh, very, very similar designations. Both of those designations, you do need some experience managing properties. I will say, I will say, it, in my experience, I took an IRAM, uh, an IRAM course one time on asset management, and it just, it just wasn't good. Um, I told them that um, they didn't really care. It, it was some of it was um, some of it, there, there was a section. Um, I remember when I was getting my CPM, there was a a section in in the test that was just plain wrong. They were te that whoever created the curriculum, you know, 25 years ago, ha had gotten uh, a couple of things backwards, and, and it was it was wrong. And I brought that to their attention, and they they didn't care. Like like so I again I think that. The CPM and RPA designations are a step in the right direction, but there are still a lot of people similar to the CCIM uh, designation. I think that there's a lot of people that can skate through these and uh, just get them to um, just get them to get them, and they really may not have any knowledge, or they may they may suck at their job, and and you just don't know it. So. I guess the bottom line of all this is if you're if, if you're an owner, okay, if you're an investor and you're trying to hire a broker or you are trying to hire a property manager, do not get hung up on the designations. It's a good place to start, but you, you still have to do your research. There's plenty of people with plenty of designations that don't know what they're doing. And, um, and so I would just say that you, you still have to do your homework. Uh, and, and, and there's plenty of people that I know that don't have any of these designations, and they are they are great. They just choose not to get these. There's another group that I probably should have included called ICSC, International Council of Shopping Centers. That is a networking group very similar to NAOP and ULI, but they focus just on retail. So if you ha do anything in retail, uh, probably go to the ICSC events out in Vegas. They're gigantic parties. That's basically what they're known for. I've never been because I'm not a retail person. Uh, I, I stick with office and industrial and um, a little bit of multifamily, some land. So anyway, that's the only other one of these that, that probably could have been included in my uh, in my little overview. So I hope you found this helpful. I would. What I'm really looking for is your feedback. If you hold one of these designations, if you hold the CCIM designation and you think that I'm wrong, it's, Submit it in the comments, and then let's have a let's have a, 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 an open discussion, and I'll um, and, and and I'll listen to you. So, anyway, as always, that's my two cents. If you are if you found this video for the first time on my uh, on my YouTube channel, and you want to know more a little bit more about what's going on and and, and all that, go to the intro video. Uh, the intro video tells you a little bit about why I am doing what I'm doing and um, trying to essentially elevate our industry because I think it's filled with mainly knuckleheads. Thank you again for watching 